Hey everybody, it's your boy Nesto and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. The Harvard of Ghosts event has finally brought a proper support tool in the game called the Revival Bolt. And this new ammo type is really powerful and you can turn sticky situations into winning ones. And in this video, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about the Revival Bolt in Hunt Showdown NT96. Let's start by pointing out that the Revival Bolt is a hitbox base, so it doesn't go through walls and you have to be in line of sight in order to revive your teammate. However, sometimes, it could be wood cracks that they are big enough so the ball can go through them and hit your teammates. Or the character's model goes through the wall when they die, especially on angle surfaces. So as long as you can physically hit them, you'll be able to revive them. You can also carry a maximum of seven bolts. However, equipping two slots of the revival bolts could be too detrimental to your loadout. So I would not recommend doing this. Special ammo boxes only refill one armor per box. However, if you carry an ammunition box, it can grant you up to two. Now, what about actually using the revival bolt? So when you revive your teammate and in, if they don't carry resilience, they won't be fully healed. So keep this in mind, just in case you wanna throw an additional one to get them healed. The revival bolt can heal up to a hundred hit points, which is quite nice. And no, you cannot heal yourself, just in case you're wondering if you can do that. Now, if your teammate is bleeding, you'll be able to heal them, but it doesn't remove the bleeding effect, so the player has to manually remove the bleeding effect from themselves. And same for the poison. If your teammate is poisoned, neither it cleanses or heal your teammates if they remain poisoned. So you have to wait until the poison wears off in order to heal them uh, afterwards. Keep in mind that if the person is burning on the ground, make sure to throw that choke bomb first because the revival bolt does not turn the fire off. So if you revive them, they will be on fire. So I would recommend to throw a choke bomb first and then you can safely revive your teammate. Rest gold teammates cannot be revived. So that's another thing that you have to keep in mind so you don't waste your bolts on them. And when you recruit a hunter, consider equipping these three traits. First one is going to be bolt thrower. The second one, Necromancer, and the third one, Resilient. The Bolt Thrower is very important because it actually improves your reload time of the hand crossbow, so you should be able to have a second bolt ready if you need it to like heal or revive another teammate. It's actually quite significant, the difference. And as for Necromancer, it's pretty much your last resort. When you are in a situation where both of your teammates are dead and you don't have line of sight to revive your teammates or maybe you are out of ammo, as long as you are within the range, you should be able to revive them and then maybe clutch the fight with Necromancer. And then Resilient is pretty much standard at this point. If you get revived, at least it prevents you most of the time to get Resilient checked because you get fully healed once you get revived. So these are the three traits that I actually try to put every time I recruit the Hunter and then later on I'll equip the other ones for the weapon I'm using. Now as for the loadout, let's start with the easiest part which are the consumables. Consider equipping Region Shot just to pretty much heal off the cheap damage because you're not gonna be close range most of the time you want to play on the back so you're probably gonna get a lot of like cheap damage and this can help you to save some mech kit then the stamina shot this one doesn't need any explanation especially if you have melee weapons will get you to places faster but also not die to ai do depleting out your stamina and for the last one you want to have the ammunition box this not only can replenish your teammates but also give you some of your bolts back on ammo as well. Overall, this is the best combo for most loadout in my opinion. But if you want to go all in with the support theme, consider equipping a medical pack or a toolbox for your teammates. However, I found from experience that these mostly are effective if, if you get to the boss layer first. Or two, you want a flare gun for insta burning, but also be able to burn from longer distances if you are in line of sight. Make it, this one doesn't need any explanation. Personally, I find the penny shot the ranger is so versatile because you can do many things with it. You can breach through battery doors, you can one shot emulators on hunters, and you can also deal insane damage to bosses. So it's it's really damn good. And then any trouble melee weapons of preference. I have been using the knives as of lately since the odd day. They feel very good now. So it's quickly becoming my favorite. Now for the hand crossbow, you want to make sure that you at least have one slot with the revival bolt. They cost $400. It's more up to you and your play style. The dragon bolt is an excellent combo for crowd control and burning bodies. But then consider changing your flare gun to shot bombs at least. Poison is another great option for creating area of denials or getting people out of cover. 
Uh, I personally prefer the shop bolts. They are instant, unlike the shop bolts, and you get plenty if you need to block vision or just pretty much annoying the, the enemy that you're fighting. For our main weapon, we need something that can apply pressure or be able to crowd control to buy time whenever you're trying to revive teammates. And there's nothing better than a medium dundon weapon. I personally have been using the Centennial Trauma. It costs just 10 extra hundred dollars versus the regular one. It grants you a blunt melee weapon with the exchange of slightly vertical recoil, which is almost pretty much not noticeable at all. Weapons that have melee weapon attached ignore the heavy damage tools modifier. So you will be able to do a lot of damage to AI and hunters. So keep that in mind. Oh, and by the way, can't wait to unlock this trauma skin that is available in the battle pass. It looks so sweet. Another great option, but it's a little bit expensive, especially if you die a lot, is the drilling. Exceptional weapon, but you have the benefit of having a shotgun slot and you don't have to rely on any traits to use the gun. Now, I use box shot with the drilling. It's already expensive as it is and box shot does a good job when somebody pushes you. So uh, if you want to use slugs, that's completely fine as well. So whatever you decide to equip, make sure you have done them on it because it's a very good tool for crowd control. Once they get hit, the first thing they're going to do is use panic and go and heal around the corner or in cover. And this could help you to pretty much buy your time to get close to your teammate to revive them. Now, keep in mind, if you are a player that likes to play aggressively in the front lines all the time, this is definitely not for you. You have to be patient, have great positioning most of the time, especially behind your teammates in order to revive or heal whenever your teammate needs them. Also, you're already sacrificing a lot of your loadout to support. So unless you are a crack gamer, then you should not be going for kills instead of helping your teammates. When done right, the revival ball can be a game changer and let your team win most of the fights and at the same time keep your teammates happy. It's one of the best tools introduced in the game in my opinion, so players like me that like playing more the support role, I'm having so much fun with it. Alright guys, this is all I have for you today. I hope you learned something helpful. Drop a like if you like this video to put it out there. Comment in section below if you have any questions. Feel free to subscribe if you want more content like this. And thank you so much for watching. It's your boy Nesto signing off.